So I'm Andy. This I'm Jazz. Is, where are we going? We are going to go visit a girl named Chantel who has a pretty cool houseplant collection. All right. So where are we heading to first? Let's talk about some <laughs> high maintenance plants. High maintenance plants. Okay. This here is my turtle vine. Wow, I've never seen that before. It's really, really giving and it, it has a lot of beautiful color, um, purples and greens obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but it kind of just looks like hair, like mm -hmm. it trails. I gave it a bit of a trim yesterday and clean up because I knew you were coming. But It's like Medusa hair. Yes. How long have you had it for? Um, I've had that one for four or five years and <laughs> keep a spritz bottle really close by <laughs> because it always needs, you know, a little bit of love here and there. Cool. And same as my other high maintenance plant, um, it requires moist soil. So daily I go and I check. I've had this rabbit's foot fern for nine years in the same pot. Yeah, I bought this from a vintage store and she was um, going out of business or something and it was just hanging in her window yeah. and I, I mean I obviously bought it for this macrame planter <laughs> <laughs> it's like a trench lily oh yeah it's crazy rabbits but oh that's creepy looking in yeah. there I didn't even notice that yeah <laughs> My they're all over <laughs> Look at this, this side here. Oh, like, that kind of gives me the creeps. That yeah. totally looks like spider legs. They're fuzzy and <laughs> yeah, they're really soft. And so they require a, a spritz, I would say, once or twice oh, a week. Oh, shit, I had no idea yeah. that was part of it. From, from further back, I thought that was just part of the planter. Nope. Wow, that is <laughs> wow. a creepy ass plant. All right, so, so moving on. <laughs> that plant really creeped me out. Ooh. These are called baby's tears? Baby's tears because they're so delicate. Um, and so they trail and they spread this way as well. That's why I have it in this beautiful bowl. Mm. And it requires a daily spritz and for the soil to be super moist as well. For mm. it to, you know, just be thriving. And I got to know it that way. So you really pay attention and you do have a routine where you walk through your plants or you do like the same sort of watering routine or a daily I, check through? Yeah, I sort of do it every Sunday, like on the weekend. I do yeah. like a, it takes me three hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> three hours? Well, I mean, oh I don't know three hours yeah. exactly, but it is like two it's hours. It's an investment of, in time for sure, having all It's a plans. commitment. Oh, it's like, you know, this is my space. I go to work on my computer mm -hmm. or I just need somewhere to kind of reconvene. Mm -hmm. This is where I come if I am feeling a moment of like stress or anxiety. Plants really do it for me. So it's my, you know, my calm space. Mm -hmm. I literally just stand here and feel better. <laughs> That's awesome. Which is true. It's tr For me, it's just turned into this kind of healthy obsession. <laughs> this one here is was given to me by uh, a friend. Whoa. This is a moringa tree. Apparently, okay. um, its leaves are used to heal all sorts of stuff, including cancer. Uh, you're just you're just supposed to eat them. They taste really lemony, kind of thing. And so, it's supposed to grow in a long pot or vessel because its roots go really go really deep, deep. yeah and the stem it, it likes to be kind of guided because eventually it'll become kind of like driftwood like a really oh thick stem yes I don't yeah. know much about it I've just had it for probably about a year now okay and it keeps going so I've been trying to help it by you know clipping the leaves a little bit and right like it like <laughs> you know Twice, oh. twice as long as this, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And have you eaten a leaf? Yeah, I'll yeah. eat a leaf right now. Yeah. Oh, can I try? I don't want to wreck your plant, but can I try one? Yeah. I'll let you pull the plant okay. or the leaf off. <laughs> I don't want to kill one of your plants. There you go. I wouldn't call that lemony. What is it? <laughs> like more like. Leaf. Leaf grassy. <laughs> so we're just about to leave and uh, 
There's a pretty crazy plant behind mm -hmm. here. <laughs> behind your curtain here. My donkey's tail. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty Prize wild. Prize winning. Totally. How so. fragile and delicate are those? They're actually quite strong. Yeah. And I have given many, many clippings of this guy. Um, it's as easy as just, whoops. Oh. See, and they fall out like that. So then. Oh, I'm glad I didn't touch it. No, that's okay. I would have felt bad if <laughs> they're falling apart. Like I could take this and it would start to grow little um, roots like this right here in about a week or two. And then yeah. it would be ready to go. Are these wow. full of like some kind of like almost like an aloe or something? Uh, they kind of feel like it. Yeah, it's similar. It's it's um, a succulent. So oh. it stores water in its leaves. Yeah. Does it grow pretty fast then? I've had this one for probably about nine years. So this wow. is, yeah. <gasps> this is so incredible. It's actually really fun to touch. Like if you kind of yes. stroke it. <laughs> I'm stroking the donkey's tail. This is Oh, oh shit! See, I don't <laughs> okay. like the way they fall apart. I'm not touching anything else. It was else meant in to here. be. No, it was meant to like. <laughs> we'll propagate those leaves. Yeah. yeah. We are done in. Where am I? There I am. My We're done at Chantel's house. Thanks for showing us around. Yeah, thank you so much for and, having uh, us. And yes. letting us touch your donkey's tail. It's pretty cool. <laughs> awesome plants. Look at that. We we're inside in this like serene houseplantville and you come outside to construction construction, <laughs> construction so zone. So much construction. Oh man. 